in this video i will show you another example of operational amplifier circuit this will be example number seven out of eight examples calculate the current i naught for the following circuit see i have to calculate the i naught or i o for this circuit here i o is the current that is flowing through this four kilo ohm resistor okay before going to the circuit solution let me show you the simulation of the circuit before going to the circuit solution let me show you the simulation of this circuit here you will see the current i naught will be 685 micro ampere now see the value of output voltage will be minus 2.74 volt as the output terminal of this op amp is connected with the inverting terminal through a 10 kilo ohm resistor so this op amp will be in negative feedback and negative feedback will make this terminal and this terminal voltages equal that means this terminal will be virtually grounded this terminal will have a voltage of zero volt therefore you will see when i will apply 600 millivolt at this terminal to ground terminal this 3 kilo ohm and this 5 kilo ohm resistances will be in parallel and their equivalent parallel resistance will be 1.875 kilo ohm across which we will get 391 millivolt voltage drop across which we will get 391 millivolt voltage drop as this op amp is also in negative feedback because the output terminal is connected with the inverting terminal through a short circuit therefore this non-inverting terminal voltage and the inverting terminal voltages will be equal that means it will be 391 millivolt and this terminal will have a voltage of 391 millivolt okay during solving the circuit i will show you everything i have shown you in this simulation okay now look at this circuit here if i denote this op amp as op amp 1 and this op amp as op amp 2 here you will see the output of this op amp is applied at the inverting terminal of this op amp this kind of op amp structure is known as cascaded op amp Now let me show you the circuit solution. At first you will see to calculate the output current I O at first you have to know the voltage at this terminal and I will denote that voltage with V O. Once I know the value of this V O sim I will simply apply Ohm's law to calculate the current through this 4 kilo ohm resistor. Now look at this terminal here you will see this output terminal will be connected to the inverting terminal and this output terminal will be connected with the inverting terminal through a 10 kilo ohm resistor which implies that both of the operational amplifiers are in negative feedback and when an operational amplifier is in negative feedback their inverting terminal voltage and non-inverting terminal voltages will be equal that means i can write vp1 is equal to v n1 non-inverting terminal voltage of the first op amp is equal to the inverting terminal voltage of the first op amp and v p2 non-inverting terminal voltage of the first of the second op amp is equal to the inverting terminal voltage of the second op amp now look here you will see this terminal is connected to ground terminal therefore the voltage at this terminal will be vp2 and that will be equal to zero once the voltage at this terminal will be zero due to negative feedback vp will be equal to vn2 so vn2 will also be equal to zero volt when this terminal will have a voltage of zero volt that means this terminal is virtually grounded as a result we can consider a grounding at this terminal because this terminal has a voltage of zero volt okay now look here you will see one end of this three kilo ohm resistor is connected at this non-inverting terminal and one end of this five kilo ohm resistor is connected at this non-inverting terminal and another end of this three kilo ohm resistor is connected to this ground terminal and another end of this five kilo ohm resistor is connected to this virtually grounded terminal as a result i can say that the three kilo ohm resistor and five kilo ohm resistances are connected in parallel as they are connected in parallel i can reduce 
I can replace them with their equivalent resistance or equivalent and their equivalent resistance will be equal to 1.875 kilo ohm. See, I have replaced the 3 kilo ohm and 5 kilo ohm resistances with their equivalent resistance of 1.875 kilo ohm. Now see, the current due to negative feedback through this non inverting terminal will be zero and the inverting and the current through the inverting terminal will be also zero and the current through this inverting terminal will be zero and the current through this non-inverting terminal will also be zero that means this terminal will act like a virtual open circuit as there is no current flow so you will see that this 600 millivolt or 0 0.6 volt will be absorbed by this 1 kilo ohm resistor and this 1.875 kilo ohm resistor okay therefore i can easily calculate the voltage at this terminal vp1 by using voltage divider rule 1.875 k divided by 1 k plus 1.875 k into 0 0.6 volt from where i will get 391 millivolt or 0 0.39 volt so the voltage at this terminal VP1 is equal to 0 0.39 volt as the op amp is in negative feedback this non inverting terminal voltage and this inverting terminal voltages will be equal so I can write VN1 is equal to 0 0.39 volt now you will see as this terminal is shorted with the output terminal therefore this output terminal will have a voltage of 0 0.39 volt see we are applying the non inverting terminal voltage equal to 0 0.39 volt at this terminal and our output is also same therefore this op amp one will act like a unity gain amplifier or buffer amplifier circuit now see i know the value of voltages in almost every point see the voltage at this point is 0 0.391 volt the voltage at this output terminal is 0 0.391 volt due to negative feedback this terminal is virtually grounded so this terminal will have a voltage of 0 volt we don't know the value of output voltage v o of the second amplifier now see as this terminal is at 0 0.391 volt now see as this terminal is 0 0.391 volt and this terminal is at 0 volt therefore i will get a current flowing from higher potential towards this lower potential in this direction let's say i denote that current with i1 how do we calculate this i1 i1 will be equal to higher voltage minus lower voltage divided by resistance 0 0.391 minus 0 divided by 5k or 5000 which will give us a value of 78.2 micro ampere so i will get a current incoming 78.2 micro ampere to this inverting terminal now let me calculate the current through this 2 kilo ohm resistor see this terminal is at higher potential and this terminal is at lower potential so i will get a current in this direction let's say i denote that current with i2 so how do we calculate the value of i2 simply ohm's law i2 is equal to higher voltage minus lower voltage divided by the value of resistor 0 0.391 minus 0 divided by 2000 which will give us a value of 195.5 micro ampere now see due to negative feedback the current through this inverting terminal will be zero therefore the current that is incoming at this node let's say that current will return 
to this output terminal through this feedback path let's say denote that current with i3 if i apply kcl at the inverting terminal 2 i will get this i2 or 195.5 microampere incoming this 78.2 microampere current incoming and this i3 outgoing therefore i can write i3 will be equal to the sum of 195.5 microampere plus 78.2 micro ampere now see what will be the value of this i3 see i3 is flowing from this inverting terminal to this output terminal so i have to assume this terminal is at higher potential and this terminal is at lower potential higher voltage minus lower voltage divided by resistance i3 will be equal to 0 minus v o divided by 10 kilo ohm or 10000 here i will get 270 3.7 micro ampere now see from which i can calculate our output voltage vo minus vo equal to 273.7 micro ampere or 273.7 into 10 to the power minus 6 into this 10000 which will give us a value of vo equal to minus 2.737 volt now see i know the value of output voltage at this terminal which is equal to minus 2.737 volt see this terminal is at negative potential and this ground terminal is at voltage of 0 volt that means this terminal will be at higher potential and this terminal will be at lower potential so the direction of i naught will be in this direction now I, how do we calculate the i o simply ohm's law i o will be equal to higher voltage minus lower voltage 0 minus minus 2.737 volt divided by the value of resistance of that path 4 kilo ohm or 4000 ohm which will give us a value of 684.25 micro ampere and this result of this output current and the vo are coherent with my simulation so this will be our output current of this of this cascaded op m circuit that's it thank you